Okay, so we're going to try something called solving percent problems with equations. And the, you, know, you need this base equation to, for everything to make sense. A percent of the whole is the part. So in other words, if I'm given a percent, the percent of whatever, whatever, comes after, whatever comes after the word of, that's the whole, that will equal the part. And of means time. So knowing that, we can actually write equations and solve them. So let's look at a very simple problem here um, where we just have no word problems. It's just percent and of. So 48% of 50 is what? So I'm going to put x there. So what I'm going to do is translate this into an equation. 48% becomes 0.48. Of means times. And I multiply that by 150 to solve to get x. So let's do that now. So that would equal 72. So for some of you, that's what you like the most. You just want to try to multiply. So let's see how we can apply that. Now let's look at a word problem. Sales tax is 6% of the bill. Whatever comes after the word of, that's the whole. And... Wherever I see is, that means equals. So I'm going to find sales tax. That's what I don't know. Sales tax is, that becomes equals. 6% becomes 0 0.06 of means times. And I'm going to do $15. So all I have to do is just translate my words into my numbers so that it makes a math sentence. So now I just multiply 0 0.06 times 15 and I get 90 cents. So that means the tax is 90 cents. So let's look at a couple more complicated problems and um, try to write our base equation. While mining, Jess found a metal bar that weighed 25 ounces. Jess was, able, was also able to determine that the bar contained 20% zinc. How many ounces of zinc are in the metal bar? So what I need to do is change this so that I have a base percent problem. So now I'm going to, I really what it's telling me is that 20% of the bar is zinc. And that I kind of had to infer from the problem. So now that I have that, let me put some numbers in. The bar weighs 25, so where I, the bar is the same as 25 ounces. And I don't know the zinc. That's what I'm going to try to find. So now let me translate all of this into a math sentence. So 20% is 0.20 of means multiply. The bar is 25 ounces, and we write 25, is means equals, and here is my thing I don't know, the Z. So now I know to solve this, I just have to multiply 0.20 times 25, and that's five. So five ounces of the bar is zinc. Let's look at the next problem. There are 20 students in a class and 50 of those students passed their geometry test. What percentage, what percentage of the students passed their test? So there's our base problem. So what percent of the class passed? So whatever comes after the word of is the total and here the total is the 20 students. So that's 20. And I don't have an is, but I have a verb, so passed, did pass. So did pass, well, that would be 15 students that did pass. So I'm trying to find the percent. So now that we have our base equation, let's translate this into a math sentence. So what percent, that's what I'm going to find, that'll be P. Of means times, the class is 20, and passed, what well, that really means is 20% of the class is 15 because it's the 15 that passed. So is 15. So now this equation is a little different because rather than having the two numbers on one side of the equal sign, I actually have them opposite side. So I have to solve this equation. And I'm going to rewrite this so that it makes more sense. I really have 20 times P equals 15. So to solve this equation, I have to do the opposite. I have to divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by 20. 
So then I will have P equals, and I'm going to do 15 divided by 20, is 0.75. And that makes a percent. That will be 75%. I want you to notice in these problems, whenever we translate the percent into the problem, we actually make it a decimal. And so that when we get a decimal as our answer, we have to change that back into a percent. So let's try the last one. Mary had, has to spend $12,000 on expenses each year. If the expenses she spends, that amount of money, is 80% of her salary, then how much money does Mary make working as an accountant per year? So salary is what you make per year. So when, the, she said, when it says how much, how much does Mary make, working as an accountant per year, what that really means is how much is her salary. That's another way of wording it. So let's reword this so we have our base equation. So what I can, what I can infer is that 80% of her salary is expenses. Her salary, we don't know yet, so that's S. The expenses, though, are $12,000. So now I have that information. I can translate it all into a math sentence. So I drew the arrows to, so that you can see where all this math sentence comes from. 0.80 times S equals 12,000. So to solve this, and I can make this prettier by making it and giving that multiplication sign. To solve this equation now, I do the opposite. And the opposite of multiply is divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by 0.80. and we get S equals 15,000. And remember, this is her salary, so that's dollars. So now we've solved three different kinds of problems. The first problem we solved, they told us the, uh, number one, they told us what was the percent, and they told us, they told us the percent, and they told us the total, and we found the part. In the other percent problem, they gave us the part and they gave us the total and we found the percent. And then the last one, they gave us the percent and the part and we had to find the whole. So what I want to show you is, is that no matter which thing you're doing, whether you're trying to find the part, the percent, or the whole, using an equation will help you get the answer. It might not seem shorter right now. But in the long run, if you become good at this, it can be a very efficient strategy for solving percent problems. Thanks.